Hello everyone, welcome back to GTA Online with Longclaw and Valerian Steel, where we always deliver. In this series of videos, I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to know to maximize your in-game earnings and get the most out of the game as a solo player. In this episode, we're focusing on Special Cargo, which is part of the CEO network. This is a really important part of GTA Online and has long been referred to as the best way to make money in the game. It's something that usually requires a lot of time and effort, but following this method you're going to learn how to do things a lot easier and a lot quicker and make lots of money as a solo player without any stress at all. This is something that I do two or three times a week and helps boost my income alongside the MC business, the bunker and the nightclub as well as vehicle cargo and casino heists. So let's take a look at the video and get into some detail. So the first thing we're going to look at is where to find your office because to operate special cargo you need to be registered as a CEO and to be registered as a CEO you must purchase an office. So you go to the Dynasty 8 app and have a look and there are four offices available. Two of them are a bit cheaper around a million and two of them are high-end offices and they'll cost you a few million each. Now you can start the game with just a cheap office and upgrade later, that's exactly what I did. But it is important that you choose the right location, somewhere close to your businesses, somewhere that's going to allow you to access and get around quickly. Now there's a lot of personalization and individualization which you can take advantage of through the app once you've purchased your office. And you don't need to do this at the start just start with the bare minimum and just get yourself going and then as you start to make money you can then go back and make some changes but something you must decide is what you're going to call your CEO business now the CEO business is something that you will register into every time you want to use any of your CEO businesses and then you'll retire after each session and that allows you to then register as an MC and to do other things within the game and when you do purchase your office, you get some underground parking and you can decide whether you want to have uh, a large office with four different floors with space for up to 50 cars, or you can have a smaller office with just 10, space for 10 cars. Once you've got your office, you're ready to move on to step two. So once you have an office, you can then purchase yourself a warehouse. And this is where you're going to store your special cargo. Once you've selected Special Cargo on your computer, you'll see this screen come up and it will show you a warehouse map button in red. You click on that and then select all at the top and it will show you all of the available warehouses that you can buy. Now this is where you're going to travel to once you've collected your Special Cargo each time you run a Special Cargo sourcing mission. And you're going to leave your cargo in that warehouse and then sell it when you're ready. So choose a location that you're happy to travel to and that is easily accessible and is ideally close to your other businesses that may not be related to the CEO network because you will want to do a lot of grinding from one business to another and not have to travel in between. You can buy a small, medium or a large warehouse depending on how big your sale needs are. And this method that I'm showing you would allow you to use either a small, a medium or a large warehouse. So depending on how much money you've got, at least you can get started. Once you've purchased your warehouse, you'll be able to interact with that warehouse using the computer. And when you click on it, you'll be given the option to purchase either one crate, two crates or three crates of special cargo. 
And this is essentially the special cargo business in a nutshell. You're going to buy these products outright and spend your money on them up front and then go and collect them and deliver them to your warehouse and deal with any challenge that shows itself on the way. So once you're ready to make your first purchase, go ahead and select the number of crates that you want. Now following my method, you'll be selecting three crates for 18,000. This is the maximum number that you can pick up and it's 100% achievable as a solo player. So always choose three crates at 18,000 and then you'll be able to sell them for a higher value once you've collected them. Now every sale is slightly different but they all begin the same way with you either inside your arcade or inside your office and your assistant will give you some instructions as soon as you leave. And every mission is different but there are two main types of mission. One where you'll be collecting all three of these crates in one vehicle and that will usually involve you being chased by someone or you're having to take that vehicle from someone before you can take it back to your warehouse. The other type will be where you're collecting three separate crates and having to transport them back. And that usually involves having to take those, take out some guys that have the crates so that you can then transport them back safely. But whatever the instruction that you get, just listen to the phone call that you get from your assistant because it gives you a little bit of time before you start your journey to the product. The way to tell these two mission types apart is if you can see the crate on your map, then it's going to be one vehicle and you'll be able to transfer all three of these crates in one go. If you are just given a waypoint, then you're gonna to have to take all three of these crates separately and go back to your warehouse three times. And in this mission, I was told by my assistant that the police had confiscated the products and I just had to simply go to the police compound and take them. What I usually do is just shoot out the cops that are surrounding the vehicle and just try and get in the vehicle and get it away from the compound as soon as possible. There are a few different versions of this mission and some of them are a bit heavier than others. This one is not too bad because the vehicle's already outside and all you need to do is drive it away. And once you are on the road, you'll pick up a three star wanted level and then you'll need to get rid of that before you can get back to your warehouse. And you can do that by two ways. You can either hide from them until your wanted level disappears or if you want to be really laid back about things, just bring up Lester on your phone and provided you have completed all three of your heist missions for your penthouse apartment, you'll be able to remove the wanted level um, with no trouble at all. What I usually do is wait until I've actually got a bit closer to my warehouse and my assistant will call me and tell me that I need to lose the heat and your wanted level reduces to a one star wanted level and I pay just $200 for him to remove that wanted level. But once you've got rid of the wanted level, you're able to then deliver the product on, into the yellow marker outside your warehouse and you will have completed your first special cargo collection. And then when you're ready, you just go out and launch another mission and collect three more crates. And you can do this either from your terabyte, from your office or from your arcade. And just keep doing the same thing, collecting the cargo, taking it to the warehouse, overcoming any challenges that come up on each mission. This one was a gang that uh, tried to get in, in the way of the collection and I had to take them out before I could take it away. And uh, you'll get used to these missions and start to understand that these single delivery missions where all three crates are together, they're not that hard. The method that I follow, I have two warehouses and I'm delivering to one set of crates to each warehouse alternately. And that allows me to avoid any cool down and I can continuously deliver over a period of an hour or so and collect as many crates as I can. And I just keep this process going until I have 27 crates in each of my two warehouses. But you can do this with one warehouse, it's absolutely fine. And ultimately, the more you complete these missions, the more familiar you become with them. You'll start to recognize the locations and you'll understand exactly what's going on before you see the mission. In this case, it's a police sting and they're waiting to interact with me before I collect my vehicle and, and my product. So. You take them out and give yourself enough space to get onto the road and they're very aggressive and if you do stand if you're sitting in the van or you just try to get in without taking them out they'll just take you out you get an instant three star wanted level and it doesn't matter if you do die you just respawn and you go back and actually the vehicle's waiting for you and the police are not so no trouble there you'll always be able to deliver 
and uh, the only thing that could ever go wrong in a mission like this is if someone else and another another player in the game uh, comes along and tries to destroy your product before you can deliver it. So I often do this in a private lobby or a crew lobby or an invite lobby so that I can basically avoid any trouble like that. I will never do any of these kind of missions in a public lobby if I'm concerned that the, the, the players in that lobby are going to give me grief. Um, but what I do is just complete this process and repeat this process, rinse and repeat over and over again until I've got exactly how many crates I want for my delivery. And that is exactly what the special cargo business is all about. You're going to pay for the crates up front and you don't see any return until you've actually sold your crates. Probably the most challenging of these solo collections is going to be where the vehicle itself is moving and you're going to have to chase that moving vehicle down. Now, what I always do is stop the traffic and if you can get your helicopter or your car in front of the moving vehicle and stop the cars in front of the vehicle, it will slow down. And that is the best way. Don't bother to try to shoot the driver or anything like that because you're just eventually the driver will will race away at a higher speed and you'll never catch him. Uh, sometimes there's a, a gang and the vehicle itself will be on the move and or the, the, one of the gang members gets in the vehicle before you're able to take everybody out and you do have to chase it down. And in some cases, with the right kind of vehicle, and I mean something that's fast and kind of sturdy, you could just shove it in the way, literally pushing this, this camper van onto the rails and I was able to get in and get their vehicle moving. And that's as simple as that. And then as soon as you're off down the road, uh, you sometimes get chased by some of the uh, the bad guys and you can just either get out of the vehicle sometimes, depending on my mood, I'll get out, take them on, kill them and get rid of them. And there's usually a few waves and then you get a, a peaceful journey back to your warehouse. This is a, another police compound mission and it's a bit more aggressive than the one that I showed you initially. You actually have to go into the police compound. Um, there's police standing around and eventually they spot you and of course they, they try to take you out. Again, if you do get killed, it doesn't really matter because you have as many times as you like to do it before the time runs out. Uh, but what I always do is just get in there, get in the van and prefer to get moving and get away. Sometimes I'll have to take out a couple of of the policemen to actually get away but eventually you'll get out and then you can remove your wanted level and um, and that's a neat trick removing your wanted level phoning Lester but I'm that's only available if you've completed your three heists if you haven't you're going to um, you're going to have to hide somewhere to get rid of that wanted level which will make the mission a little more uh, a little more complex but it definitely can be done and then of course the other type of mission is collecting three separate crates. Now this is creating ideally for three separate players who will each go and get one crate each and then take them back. And that was the, the reason that these missions were created in this way. But of course playing as a solo player you can just collect three crates one at a time. But because of the logistical um, layout of some of these collection points you will want to use a uh, air vehicle to make it much easier you can see here I was able just to, to walk right past the policeman and pick up the, the box the, the crate and get into the car and drive away with it that's not always possible uh, sometimes you're gonna have to alert the police see a wanted level given to you and then they'll either kill you or you'll get rid of the wanted level and then you'll be able to go back and interact with the with the crates but um, depending on where the location is I prefer to do this uh, it, it depends on my mood I prefer to do it usually in an air vehicle if I'm in a rush and I have a limited amount of time and I'll even use the air vehicle to pick up the stock which you can see that I'm doing here you literally just hover over the, the crate and you're able to as soon as the, the crate touches the helicopter you're off and you're able to pick it up but don't get that helicopter wet otherwise you will lose the helicopter in the water um, in some cases uh, you're you're having to take out either one helicopter or or some um, bad guys that have taken your stock and uh, then you have to pick up the stock and take it away in some cases it's just as simple as uh, dropping some flares so that the crates can be dropped but you don't need to to leave your vehicle to pick up a crate you can just simply drive over it in a car and when I'm not in a rush and I'm a bit more laid back I prefer to get a nice car that I enjoy driving 
and then drive around and collect these up. And even if I have to go back three times to the same place, that's what this game is all about for me, is driving around my city where my businesses are and I've got everything laid out nice and close together so I never have to drive too far. So you find your way around these missions, you take out the, the, the vehicles or follow the instructions, get hold of your product, get it back to the warehouse and make sure you've got at least 27 even in one warehouse and ideally at best in two of your warehouses you'll have 27 in each ready to do a back to back sale. And now I think we're ready to have a look at some of the sale missions. So when you're ready to make a sale go and visit your warehouse PC, you need to do this from within your warehouse. And then you can select one of the blue buttons on the right and you're going to usually sell all of your crates which should be 27 if you're going to follow my method and then you'll be given one of three vehicles for the sale either a truck a plane or a boat and there are variants of these missions but none of them are very challenging in this case i had to visit the the warehouse because I launched this from my arcade so I had to travel to my warehouse and I have two brigade trucks and I must deliver them both to the same point and uh, it's not difficult you have uh, a yellow marker and you must drive your, your vehicle into it I always use my buzzard as a method of travel in between deliveries and I usually do that through my CEO menu selecting the CEO vehicle and the buzzard which comes for free as part of uh, operating as a CEO so whenever you're using the CEO menu I would recommend using the buzzard as a method of travel because it's free and it's really the fastest way to get around in this case you can see that I had to get out of the vehicle and then take on a whole host of enemies and you can either do that on foot or you can use an air vehicle like I did. So once you've done your business you'll get paid and remember that the money that you earn goes into your wallet and not into your bank so you do need to bank it to avoid losing it in a public lobby. You can do that by visiting an ATM machine or you can just open up the banking app on your phone and deposit the cash. In this sale mission I was sent to pick up a plane from the airport and I had to deliver the product to 10 separate locations around the map. And you'll need to be careful as you're delivering and make sure that you do deliver all of the packages, all 10 of them, because if you fail to deliver even one of them you will lose the value of the entire sale. If you think you're going to lose a package or you think you're going to fail and you're not going to complete the delivery because you're running out of time or maybe your plane has been shot down by a helicopter or it's going to be shot down, you can see the engine is smoking. It's probably best to restart the mission and then go back to your warehouse. Make sure you still have 27 crates and then do the sale mission again. You will find there are variations of this mission as well. Sometimes you'll take all of the product to one drop off and there'll be some bad guys waiting near the landing site and you'll just need to land the plane and take out those bad guys so that you... Other times you will be harassed around the map as you're trying to make your deliveries by two buzzard helicopters and they will be shooting at the propellers and it's that is the mission that you will find that is the, the most challenging when you're in the air you just simply need to try to evade their shooting and if you can't and you can see that you're already in trouble as i said then you have the option to quit it and start again it is worth thinking about upgrading your vehicles and you can do that from your warehouse as well there's a maintenance bench and you can use that to upgrade the vehicles and that allows them to take a few more shots it means that they won't blow up quite as easily once you're all done and you've delivered all 10 packages you'll get paid. and here I've captured a boat sale for you these are usually quite easy sometimes you'll have to take out some bad guys at the dock before you can get on the boat sometimes those bad guys will chase you while you're in the water as long as you've upgraded your boat and it's it's moving a little faster you'll have no problem getting away from them you can actually stop in the boat and take them out I've done that uh, a number of times or you can shoot out a helicopter that comes over the, the top of the boat with a RPG or even with your rifle. And once you get out into the ocean you just drive in a straight line for your yellow marker and as soon as you've delivered your product you'll respawn back onto the shore and you're able to then go off and do something else. But the boat missions are nice and easy, we like those a lot.
And here's another variation of the brigade deliveries, this time using the Trackify app on your phone. You're not given the actual location of the delivery and you just simply need to follow the Trackify app and keep the red dot ahead of you, either to the left or the right, but make sure you can see it in front of you and just head to your delivery point. And what I like about delivering special cargo is that the deliveries are easy. There is a lot of work involved to collect the crates. And sometimes if you are trying to collect a full warehouse, which would be 111 crates, it can take a very long time. What I prefer to do is do things in a smaller way and do it more often. That way I don't get bored with anything. And of course, Rockstar will reward us with double money. And when that happens, all of these deliveries are worth twice as much. So everything you collect for your warehouse, you're gonna earn double back. And that makes it really worthwhile. And this is a great business to take advantage of while double money is running. And the second time you bring your vehicle back, you won't need to use Trackify because the waypoint will be there for you on your map. Once you've delivered the second vehicle, you get paid. And if like me, you've got a couple of warehouses on the go, you can do these sales back to back and you'll be walking away with a million, even if it's not double money. So there you go, I've shown you how to find your office, how to find your warehouse, how to collect your cargo, and how to sell it, and all as a solo player. And that is where I will leave you, and I thank you all very much for watching. Please take a moment to have a look at some of the other video content on my channel. Please let's show some love in this amazing community.